So supposedly rumor has it that there are walleyes in Red Lake. I don't know. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Today is gonna be a good day for the sole fact that we're going ice fishing. I don't know about you, but I am ready. I am excited and I cannot wait. Ice fishing is here. <gasps> we're going ice fishing. I've been waiting. I'm so happy. Going ice fishing. Dale, Dolores, we're going ice fishing. Come on. Baby, lock them doors. We're going ice fishing. But if the rumor holds true and there really is walleyes in Red Lake, I will sniff them out. I will mark them and I probably won't catch them but I will try my best. So today we're fishing Red Lake. It's gonna be a freaking blast. I'm headed out here. Uh, huge shout out to my buddy Rem. I am actually cutting through his cabin here. His family has a cabin on the lake and huge shout out to my buddies Brent and Danny. They let me kind of shack up at their place last night in Bemidji on kind of my giant swing north, which I'm only gonna be up here like a couple days. So I feel like we're talking too much and we need to go fishing. Let's get it out. Okay. Beautiful beach. I wouldn't say the ice is flat. We're on the ice. We are on the freaking ice. Yeah, dude, slay them up as you go. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> All right. All right, keep me tuned. Yeah, hey, have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, that was B-Rock. And he's with Murray right now and they are going, I think, about a half a mile to my right, or a half mile to my south. That's where they're kind of hopping on, a place called JR's, and that's just a classic place. Everybody goes there, awesome place. Uh, so I'm gonna try it here, they're gonna try it there, and we'll see what happens. So let's drill a hole, see how much ice there is, and then, um, yeah, maybe see how deep it is. What does the Vexlar say? Oh. This is no good. This says it's five feet here. This is this is eight feet here. Just found nine feet. Oh, there's a nice mark. Nice mark. Nice mark. There we go. Fish on. Fish on on the Tika minnow. He freaking smoked it. Oh, it feels good. My drag's kind of light. Good fish. Good fish on the freaking Tika minnow. Oh, he's wrapped in my, around my transducer. No. No. Get up through the hole. There we go. <laughs> First walleye of the year. Oh, I should have grabbed my transducer right away. That was just a gong show. <laughs> I don't know if I even have a pliers today. There we go. I'll be able to get it. I'm just in the top of the roof of the mouth. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. Beautiful red lake walleye. Oh. I think the slot limit is three under 17. And my bump only goes to 16, but that's well over an inch. So, oh, I think he's too big. I think I have to let him go. Back down to the resource, buddy. Oh, goodbye. Yes! <laughs> First walleye of the 2020, 2021 ice season. Let's go. Red Lake, boom, skunks out of the boat. Just a small one, just a really small pink tikka minnow. He came in and he crushed it. Boing! There we go, fish on, fish on. I was playing on my phone. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot, I was playing on my phone. He just freaking slammed me. Oh, this one feels like another good one. Again, on the Tika minnow. Oh, this one looks like a slot fish. This is a slot fish for sure. Yes, get up here, buddy. Yes. <laughs> beauty. Oh, beauty. He must have just swiped at it. These hooks are so sticky. Perfect. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. This is an awesome little eater walleye. 15 on the nuts. Beautiful. I'm gonna eat you for lunch. I'm just gonna cut his gills and bleed him out. 
he's gonna be beautiful white meat later. Gorgeous, I'm gonna throw him on the ice, let him expire. All right, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes since I caught those fish. I think I'm gonna reel up my line here and set up an iFish Pro. You guys don't know what these are. They're just like a way cooler version of a tip up. Um, I'll explain more later, but either way, I'm gonna set one of those out probably a little bit in front of me. And that way I can kind of cover more water. I've got a set line maybe in eight and a half feet and I'm jigging in nine feet. So maybe I can dial something else in, I don't know. There we go, fish on. Fresh minnow, fresh minnow. I saw a mark down there and he wanted some bait. There we go, there we go. Beautiful walleye, beautiful walleye. <laughs> fresh bait. Gorgeous, gorgeous little walleye. This one will also eat. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that's a perfect 16 incher, awesome eater. <laughs> and we are eating walleye for lunch. Boom, baby. There we go, fish on. Nice walleye, nice walleye. Freaking hammered it. Oh, he freaking hammered it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I brought a pliers. Gorgeous little sucker, he's bleeding. I'm gonna get him right back. See ya, buddy. Oh man. I would have kept him, I think he was definitely in the slot, but I've got two right now. So if I keep one more, then I limit out and I'm done. Oh my gosh, my fish pro's up. My fish pro's up. My fish pro's up. Here we go, boys. He's got plenty of line. Fish on. I think it's a decent fish. Oh, first eye fish pro of the season. I'm in a pretty decent spot here for just kind of pointing in a direction and coming out. It's going down here. Come on, buddy. What are you? He's getting kind of close. Oh. Nice walleye, nice walleye, right by the bottom of the hole. Get up here, get up here. Get your little head up here. Nice walleye, nice walleye on the iFish Pro. That's a long fish. Oh yeah, gorgeous. And he's out, I'll give him the middle. Beautiful, first iFish Pro walleye of the 2020-2021 season. It's going down, it's going down. Bite window, opening up. I'm gonna probably get that reset. I'm, I'm not moving. I am not moving spots. It's freaking going down here. Oh, I fish pro up. I fish pro up. Let's go. Freaking peeling line, boys. It's got it. Oh, he's definitely got it. Fish freaking on. Oh, this one feels kind of good. Oh, I love looking up and seeing the iFish Pro up. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. Nice walleye, dude. Nice walleye. It's a freaking nice walleye. Get up here. Oh, that is a fat Red Lake walleye. Beautiful. I don't know how well you can hear me, but this is a gorgeous walleye well over the slot limit. Beautiful fish. Awesome. I'm gonna let him go right away. That's probably a 20 some inch fish. Gorgeous. See ya, buddy. <laughs> like I said, I have no idea how well you can hear me, but that's just kind of been the ticket on the iFish Pro. Just a clam blade spoon, just a single hook 
straight pink UV glow down there with a big old gorgeous fat head. Let's get this set and put it back down. That was a big one. I am having a freaking ball out here. I feel like a kid in a candy store. I love ice fishing, but right away, early ice seems like the first time you go out, second time you go out of the year, it's just like, it's all brand new again because I haven't ice fished in so many months. So this is just, I'm having a freaking ball. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to eat some dang walleye. Let's cook them up. And bada bing, bada boom. That is one beautiful eater walleye chunked up into nuggets. And uh, for the recipe today, I'm gonna do shore lunch original recipe. I'm a sucker for shore lunch, so keeping it super simple today on the ice, literally just chunked it up. Gonna put in some of this batter, get some oil hot, and then I'm gonna feast. Shore lunch has like a billion different recipes. This is just the original one. They've got Cajun, they've got cornbread, they've got buffalo, they've got a billion different flavors. So I'll link shore lunch down below if you've never had it. You're crazy. Oh yeah. And if I'm doing just one walleye like this, I don't need the full package. Empty in maybe a quarter of it, not even. Maybe a little more than that. Boom. About half, I probably didn't even need to put it in that much. Save the rest for another time. Put that in there and just shake it all around. All right. Let's get the cooker out. It's sweet, the cooker attaches right to the bottom of this new Buddy Flex heater. Just unlatch it there. Just unlatch it here. And my method is gonna be, I'm kinda gonna use my sled here to block some of this wind. Hopefully the pilot light doesn't go out. But if I can get this thing ripping, it's gonna get that oil hot. Oh yeah. She's close, she's not quite ready, but she's close. I don't know about you guys, but it just seems like it doesn't matter if it's venison or duck or goose, it just seems like having wild game fresh and having it out in the field, it just tastes that much better. Especially ice fishing too. Having fresh fish when you're ice fishing it's warm, it's tasty, and you're usually hungry and a little bit of cold. So, let's try one of these suckers. Oh my gosh, they're hot. Really hot. But they're really freaking good. <laughs> I haven't ate anything all day. I, have, I found like half a granola bar in my truck driving here. And I was like, dude, if I don't catch them today, it's gonna be a long day. I did bring one can of soup. This was like my fail safe. If I totally blow it today and don't catch anything, that's what I was gonna end up eating. I love soup, but fresh walleye is a thousand times better. Mm. That's money. That's really good. Oh my gosh. My freaking iFish Pro is up. Ugh. It's peeling. Ah, I got walleye on the stove. And I got fish on the freaking line. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Feels pretty good. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a good fish, you guys. Ah. Oh. This is a good walleye. Get your head up here. Get your head up here. It's a freaking donkey. It's a freaking big walleye, dude. That's a freaking big walleye. <laughs> 
gorgeous. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get him released. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I want him probably to be the biggest of the day. He's going right back down the hole because we're frying fish. <laughs> Let's go. I'm probably burning my walleye over here. I will say, for some odd reason, it seems like the best bites have come on the set line. I haven't got as many bites on the set line. I don't know what all fish catches I showed you, what fish catches I didn't, but um, definitely the quality bites have come on the set line. Interesting. This was needed. This was definitely needed. Man, if you guys ever get the opportunity to come to Northern Minnesota and fish Upper Red Lake, it's a great time. You can have bad days out here, but you can also have amazing days. You can have 100 fish days out here. Seriously. Man. Definitely needed. I'll link everything I used down below today. That brand new Tika Minnow. I'll go over this more in different videos. Brand new bait. I've never even used this before. I think this is brand new this year from Clam Pro Tackle. Besides that, we crushed fish on the Rattling Blade Spoon today. Pink and gold. Beautiful little rattle in it. All the rods, my Vexlar, Shore Lunch, that Mr. Buddy Cooker. I'll link everything down below if you're interested at all. As the ice season goes, and as we make more videos, I'm gonna tell you guys about a lot of different things that I'm using this year. I'm using a bunch of different stuff. Everything from the rods I'm using. Today's is 2B Savant. It's kind of a nice medium light rod. It's perfect for just a light little Tika minnow. All the way to using this brand new Spoon Daddy rod. This rod is awesome for spoons. This is like your walleye killer. Man, a lot of cool stuff coming the rest of this ice season, I promise you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you stay safe out there. Check ice conditions. Go fishing with buddies. Grab a lift suit. Grab these things right around your neck, these little spikes. These can save your life. Don't risk your life going ice fishing. I got plenty of ice out here today. I've got like seven inches, so I feel totally safe. But don't risk your life ice fishing. Get out there. Catch them up. Fry them on the ice. And enjoy your time. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. I guess there's nothing left to be said. Then stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See you. Move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead.